What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we are on phase three of the holy land contracts currently we're sitting in third spot i'm just like you know two billion off beating beyond but you know he's a beast he's a beast um but yeah we'll see we'll see if we can take him on and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little bit of a deep dive into the contract point bonuses for phase three so the first thing here Dark Nemesis, you never want to touch this. If you increase the boss's attack across the board, all the damage will go up. If we just look at one of these, so if we click on this one, so basically it's the damage equal to 50% of the boss's attack. And then if we do this one, again, damage equal to the boss's attack. So if you up this, you're going to get yourself in trouble. So we don't want to do that. So yeah, Dark Nemesis is a big no-no. In my last video, I said do not touch Purgatory, but I thought I'd like have a little bit of a play around and actually it worked in our favor this time. So by taking the first two, we're reducing the healing by 45%. Obviously, if you're not bringing a healer, then you know go for all three. But if you are bringing a healer, you may find that maybe that's too much. You just want to use one. You know, like I said, you always want to spend 10 minutes on this, just playing around with different settings, fine tuning it. I'd say three is too much though. Three, that's 50%. So 50, 80 plus the 15, that's, what is that, 95%? Yeah, 95%. That is a huge amount of healing to, to lose. So yeah, want to avoid that. Um, Scorch did nothing, literally did nothing. Just three points from that. Uh, lightning strikes as well. It prioritizes targets with shields. So if you are bringing a sh uh, with a tank that has shields, he's going to be tanking that. That's fine. Three points for us. So lightning strikes. I'm not a fan of this one. Um, basically, it's going to shock for two seconds, dealing damage to well fifty percent every over time. Um, it it can wipe. It can kill someone. So it's a little bit of a bit of a dangerous one to take. But we did just fine tune. Just take number two. The boss receives 10% reduced damage for ranged targets. So it is going to reduce the damage we do, but it's not that much. And the contract points we're getting percentage-wise is massive. So that's good. Stand firm. The boss receives 10% reduced crit damage. Again, yes, it's reduced the damage we do, but the contract point bonus is definitely worth it. Missiles. So obviously we're running a team full of summoners. So it's going to prioritize our attacking summons. That's fine. They will just eat that all day long. And then number three of power strike, the boss basic attack deals damage equal to 500%. That's fine. That's just his basic attack. It's not the same as Dark Nemesis, which is increasing the boss entire attack. This is just doing it for his basic. And then we've got the um, damage protocol for summoning. We're running a team of summoners. This is just three points again, which is just great. So let's just save that. Show you the team that we're running with. So again, just one thing really, really important point bonus heroes. If you have these, you need to use them. So Darali, she will drop in a second. She's, but the point she's given us is, is crazy. Unless someone's going to do a couple of billion damage on your team, it's not worth swapping her out for someone else. Um, Berg, he's a great tank, so great to bring him. And I am lucky enough to have Daji on the account. She is an SP hero. So again, obviously, she's going to really increase the points. But otherwise, you know, any um, damage dealing summoner can fill that slot. Anpu, obviously the greatest, probably not even, not the greatest summoner, the greatest hero of all time. There is no hero better than Anpu. So you get him on your account, Make sure you invest in him. Invest hard. Beast. Alu started using her recently. Um, and yeah, she is god tier. God tier healer. Crazy good. So obviously we're using Kung Fu Panda for summoners. Uh, middle row, we are getting loads of bonuses. Bonuses. So we want to make sure that our best damage dealers are in the middle row. Dominant Nucleus. 
um, you want to try and pick this up as soon as you can. You can buy this if you go into recruitment. So if we just quickly hop out and go to recruitment, if you go to the divine prototype realm, go to the exchange, you can buy the dominant nucleus and it is so good. Definitely want to invest heavily into that. And by doing that as well, um, you can see like summoners are the best class in this game. We've invested so hard into this. So we've got this six plus awakening. This is my best um, prototype on the account. And then we've gone for crit rate and crit damage. Really good for Anpu and Daji. Uh, Ruler's Ring. So this is going to reduce damage for our summoners. So when the summoners get hit, it redistributes the damage across the minions and it helps keep us alive. We also get healed for it. Max of our, uh, we get healed for 5% of our max HP as well. Pretty sweet. And um, we're also taking Amber Armor. So this is for tanks, summoners, and supports. These heroes are going to take 16% less damage. And then last but not least, we've got our Revitalization Crystal. Um, Horn of Healing would be pretty good as well. The reason we don't have that, though, is because... This is um, Awakened, where the Horn of Healing is not, and it's level 60. So we're getting Amber Light um, increases um, allied hero damage reduction by 24%. And that's across the board. So that's giving us massive survivability against the boss and getting some huge lag. All right, there we go. We're back on track, boys. So Daji, look at her go. She is just pounding away at the boss outperforming ampu by quite a bit so you can see here we're just absolutely swarming the boss uh the rally she's dead already so she died at 545k but as long as her mech is still alive i don't no they're not all right let's restart the run so a little bit of bad rng right there and again the lag why are we lagging so much? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so Darali, she will die very quickly. We just need her mech to come out. Uh, I, yeah, he's just at the very top, top there. So she's dead now. But so she's at one point new, uh, one point nine million. But you can see she's still racking up points for us because the mech is alive. The mech is keeping it going, guys. And yeah, the mech's gonna get us some decent points. And if I say mech one more time, I'm gonna slap myself. So yeah, so Daji is in the lead. Um, in general, how it works is Daji will always be Anpu if it's single target. If it's multi-targets, like waves, or the boss has loads of minions, then Anpu will outperform because he just does that massive AoE hit. There, that's that's what we're talking about. And he does that big damage and popping off again. Insane. But yeah, you can just see like the damage is just going through the roof right now. But yeah, so for Do Rally to be swapped out, you need someone that's going to bring in a couple of billion damage. That's going to be hard to do. Um, I don't have many heroes on my account just yet that can do that right now. Yeah, and Berg, you know, he's doing some sort of decent damage, but it's more about, you know, he's tanking, he's got that shield, and also that he, you know, he's a solid tank, but he's, again, just bringing that, those points. And Alu, crazy good healer. Um, without her the team would die very, very quickly. So you can see um, we've got sort of our points at the top, but more importantly, you want to look at points obtained. So 118, 20 seconds to go. And I think my max is 126 billion. So don't think we're going to beat it, but we might. Can we do it? Come on. Okay, 121. Nah, I feel like we're slowing off. We're, we're nowhere near it. So uh, like that's that's it as well. You want to do a few runs as well because you can see there's like a three billion point difference, and that can be the difference between first and second place. So definitely want to try and do that as much as possible. Have a look at the uh, total numbers. So 0.4 billion lead on Daji, but um yeah, Anpu, you know, he's still beast, still my favorite um hero in this game. Just he looks the nuts and he's an absolute beast. So let's check out the builds, guys. He's more accessible as well. You know, Triple S, he's obviously hard to get, but he is way more obtainable than an SP hero. So Anpu, the bringer of death, 
with his crazy good animation. So he's extraordinary plus two. This was before I knew that maybe I shouldn't have like fully evolved him, but you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. So you've got him in Hero's Edge. Um, my boy Master, he was saying, Master Styles, he was saying that Hero's Edge, you should really swap it out for um, Sun Signet. I'm looking to do it, but it's just going to take me a while to do that because obviously this gear is all tempered and I'll get in a huge amount of extra attack from that. But yeah, so substats we're looking for are accuracy, attack, um, crit rate and crit damage. So he's a bit of a stat hungry monster. Um, for the gloves, we've got crit rate for now. If you can hit crit rate cap at 100%, swap it out for crit damage. Um, we've got accuracy on the helm. You know, he's bringing a stun and a pushback as well. And then we've got attack on the boots as well. So 1.2 million HP, 51k attack, 111 accuracy, 55% crit rate, and then 16% crit damage. Uh, maxed out exclusive talents, obviously maxed out as well. For the potential as well, so for awakening, you really... Some people stop at seven. I think it's better to stop at eight. It is a lot to invest in. However, we do extra damage to insectoids and robots. So across the board, you know, we are getting like loads of extra things that we can do damage to. So definitely worth investing in. Uh, Daji, she's only mythic plus one, but obviously SP, a single copy of an SP, in my opinion, is equal to an immortal triple S hero. Um, she's in Sun Signet and in um, Madness. So Madness, extra 15% attack. Our summons are doing an extra 30%. And then we also get HP decay over time as well. Again, crit rate on the gloves, attack percentage on the helm, and attack percentage on the boots. Uh, 448k HP. Obviously, she's not as um, her gear is not as tempered as much as Ampu. Um, 29k attack, 69. 69 dude uh crit rate and then crit damage um 12 exclusive only plus 20 because that's as far as we can go and then level four for talents the rally so i'm not even going to show you the build just because she is what epic plus one she's not doing anything for here she's literally for the points and then my boy berg who actually, he's really impressed me. I really like Berg, really cool champion. Love this animation as well. Uh, crazy good cutscene. The way he just like sort of tanks over. Baller. Yeah, legendary plus two right now. Um, no tempered gear. So we've got opportunistic with um, Vigorious. So obviously HP, he does have a knockdown as well. So we want that damage reduction. We want to get extra HP as well, and he also recovers HP as well. Uh, HP on the gloves, HP on the helm. Should maybe swap it out. He does need a little bit more accuracy. Maybe I'll take off Vigorious and swap it for Hawkeye. And then we've got damage reduction on the boots. Uh, 957k HP, um, 38 accuracy, very low. And then damage reduction, 83 so exclusive is only plus 15 and talents we are down to level six and then not last but not least is alu so legendary plus two um i don't know i really do want to play this play this chick just because she's like this half goat anime chick i think she just she looks weird um but she's crazy good so you definitely, if you get a copy of her, definitely invest. Um, most important thing about gear, not the forge. Um, we want to, so basically instead of taking Abundant, so Abundant is this set. Abundant is a very good early game set, but you cannot temper it. So you want to start farming the triangle as soon as you can and work on your tanks so you can farm rebirth gear. You know, supports are a very good class in this game, like most games. They're usually really underrated because, you know, they're sitting at the back. They don't get the same limelight as your, like, nukers and tanks. But supports are important. So, yeah, we want HP on the gloves. We want HP on the helm and then damage reduction on the boots. 1.3 million HP, 16 accuracy. She does need a little bit more accuracy. 
Um, and then 53 damage reduction. Exclusive plus 15. And talent, we are... all. we can bump that up. It's not going to help us for the this fight. But, you know, in other fights it will. And we are level 6. So that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope this helps you get some extra points in the holy contract because, you know, there's some really good rewards up for grabs and you want to, you know, the more rewards you can get, the faster you can progress in this game. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.